What is going on guys, Greggles TV. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install and update your Set TV Now app because it does not automatically update and they add new features and new you know, UI changes and, thing, and things like that for the app. Now it's really easy to do if you already updated it yourself in terms of like downloading it, installing it the very first time, it's the same exact process. But I'll, if, you, if you're not sure how to do it or you forgot, I will show you how to do it. So first thing you wanna do is go into the settings of your device. So I'm using an NVIDIA Shield. Uh, if you're using a Mi Box, it's gonna be the same exact thing. If you're using a Fire TV, I will put the instructions on the screen on how you get to the same spot. But regardless, you wanna go into settings and then you wanna go down until you see uh, security and restrictions and you wanna make sure unknown sources is turned on. Then hit your home button so you go back to the home screen of your device. And what you wanna do now is make sure you have this app downloaded. It's called Downloader. If you don't have it downloaded, go to your app store and search Downloader by AFTV News and download it. Once you have it downloaded, open it up and you're gonna go into that address bar right there and type the following. So you're gonna type bit.ly. Once you have that address typed in, which is bit.ly slash 2ZYWEMW, you wanna hit go all the way over to the right. And it's going to think for a second, but it's gonna automatically start downloading the new app. Now that that app is downloaded, you wanna hit install. Now you can hit open to go right into the new app, but I wanna show you something. So hit done, and then hit your home button on your controller. And you wanna see right here, you're gonna see a new set app. So this is the old one. If you have that, that's the old one. It should still work. And then you have your new one right here. The problem is when you open up the new one, it's gonna give you an error saying that you need to get the new one ready to rock and roll. So you're gonna need new codes, unfortunately, when you update to this new app. So what you'll do is reach out to Set TV Now, just go to their website and talk to their customer service or call their number, settvnow.com is the website. I'll put this down below. And you wanna get new codes for all your devices that you're gonna install this new app on. Once you get your new codes, you just wanna click pin code right here and type in the pin code that they provided to you. Then hit send and it will automatically bring you into this app. And you can see the app is actually completely different as it was before. You can see at the top left you have set, the top middle you have where you are, which is where I'm located and what time it is there. In the top right you have the you know, low temperature, high temperature, which feels hotter than 75 here today. And then you can see at the bottom you have TV, movies, catch up, EPG and info. Now let's go to EPG first. EPG is gonna be your electronic programming guide and it's gonna give you you know, everything that's playing you know, from the past or in the future. It's a kind of cool little thing. You can cycle through this and see what's playing on set TV or any, and any and all these channels, which is a nice thing. And then just go back and you're gonna see catch up. Catch up does not work still. It says coming soon. If it ever works, what it is, it allows you to go into the past and watch programs that were on that channel before, previously. So I'll hit my back button. And then next is movies. Now you're probably gonna be like, where the hell is on-demand TV shows? This is all your on-demand uh, movies here. And you can look through at the bottom here, you can see that this is gonna be where you know, all your categories are for different things that you could watch or like certain things that just seem to pop up. And you can go up here to you know press and play the movie. Say you wanna say, oh, what's iForeigner? Or does that say Foreigner? So you click on that and it automatically starts playing the movie. So you don't have to, you don't have to, you know, uh, get into that too much. So previously you used to be able to click on the movie. It would tell you how long it was, what the movie was about. Unfortunately, I don't see a way of it telling us that anymore. It does say the name of it down below, but that's about it, unfortunately. The other interesting thing on this is that when you go down here to like where the categories are and you hit uh, Y on your controller, it brings you to this alternate men menu. I don't know, it's, it, to me it's a little bit confusing the way they set this up, but you'll see that you have TV shows here. You also have your search in the top right, so if you wanna watch a certain uh, TV show or movie, um, you know, for instance, I like the Sh Chai, the Shy, which is a uh, Showtime show about Chicago, and you hit search, you can see it brings up that stuff down here. For I don't know why the why the uh, it's not showing the 
the, the, the album art for this, unfortunately, but at least this one you can go into read details to see what the episode is about, how long it is, all that stuff. It just doesn't do that for the movies. Maybe it does it for the movies in here. Let's see. Yeah, it does it for the movies when you go into this view, but in that main view, you know, when you're looking at the, the on-demand movies and TV shows from right here, it doesn't do it. So your best bet, if you want to see that look, is you're going to have to hit Y on your controller um, and look at it that way if you're using a game controller. Uh, and then regardless, let's go back here and take a look at uh, the live TV app. So when you load up live TV, uh, if you hit, you, you go into a channel, if you hit A or select on your controller, um, you're going to see it's kind of very similar, except you're not going to go left to right. Everything's just straight down. So you'll see all of your channels right here, every single one of them. You know, this is all the channels, or you can choose like English, for instance, and look through all the English channels. I do like this better. I think this is a, a better look for it. Um, you can do all your sports channels, and then going left to right and blah, 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 blah. And then you can see you put your, your, your selection on a channel. It tells you what game it is or what's playing, what the next thing after that is. That's a cool little look to it. So I do appreciate the channel, the, t the, the TV update to this. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Let's see if it shows uh, what's on TFC. So it looks like only the Ameri well, some of the T some of the foreign channels have information on what's playing. But that's pretty much it with what's going on with the new set TV app. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks for watching. I will see you down the road. Peace.